Whatever he decides to do that sets his mind on doing, he gets it done. He wants to do more, and he does everything he can to be so limited. <laughs> He don't like to leave things open-ended. It's good to the kids, good to the grandkids, great to me. You getting camera shy? Is that it? There you go. S-O-Z-2. So you can see the center of it, but some of the letters toward the top are gone, aren't they? Mm. You have tunnel vision. Yes. All right. So what RP does is affects the, the rods primarily. Mm -hmm. Makes your night vision bad. And my mom always said I had bad night vision because I had, um, what was it she called it? Some eye disease. I can't remember which one it was. All right. Please shoot you here. toward my ear. So if y'all can imagine him, uh, well, looking, trying to look through a straw, that's the type of vision that he has. And if he has 5% of his field, he's considered to be legally blind, even though he can read 20-25. Take a straw and look through it, a, a regular straw that you use for water or drinks or whatever. That's basically what he sees. <laughs> no, you're in here. I can see breathing. Because <laughs> I saw an old pebble. Before or what? No. Why not? Let's see. He has a green shirt on and the paint or orange or something. I don't know. It's like peach. You should get red on, it says USA. And now you're all completely confused, right? He doesn't see the whole face. Maybe he just sees the eye or something. They thought he got it from his daddy's side of the family. Then they said, well, Maybe it was from your, his mother's side of the family. Nobody knows how he got it. Because as far as I know, nobody on our side of the family had it. And nobody on his daddy's side of the family had it either. Can I tell you about my dad? Uh, he was my hero when I grew up. He taught me always to, um, when I start something, to finish it. He taught me always to do my best when I did something. Um, he taught me that I could do anything I put my mind to. I really looked up to his dad. He followed his dad's path of choice for work, which was the Army. The diagnosis I have is I could wake up tomorrow with no vision, or I could live to be 80 years old if I live that long and have some sight. So it's, it's, uh, it's a question every day. You know, when I wake up in the morning and I can see I'm happy, all right, I'm going to another day. Um, because I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. And we sometimes take for granted his sight because he, we're always asking, hey, can you come cut this tree down for us? Can you, you know, go out and feed the donkeys? Can you do this? Can you do that? And over the years, his eyesight continues to get worse. Going blind and being blind to me is almost the same thing. And then when they said going blind, it's like, well, how long do you have? And they couldn't give us an answer. And that was really confusing. It was one of those I could wake up tomorrow and not have it anymore. It's going to be difficult. Like now, in the mornings, we're at the bus stop, and Gage is like, Skipper, look at the stars. But my dad can't see the stars. But he still talks to Gage like he could see the stars. So I envision it's going to be like that. But then it is kind of scary, because is he going to see them at their graduation? Or I've never been married. Is he, of course he's going to walk me down the aisle, whether he could see or not, but is he going to be able to see it? Or, 
I mean, it, it's scary, but I think we're all prepared for it. And we'll take the necessary needs that we have to do to keep on moving forward and, and not let it stop none of us. I think I've learned to accept it a lot because it, it didn't just happen overnight. So as it's gradually going, I see it more and more all the time. The little stuff that he used to be able to do or used to be able to see, he can't do anymore. So, I mean, it's, I just, I, I kind of learned to live with it, I guess. As a mother, I guess, you know, down deep inside that there is something wrong, but you have the faith that the good Lord will take care of him. And that's how I do it. He doesn't let his violent blindness slow him down. You know, he's a really good role model. I'm working on an MBA because I know my dad could do it. I can do it as well. You know, we've got animals, he built a house, you know, he does the normal things that everyday normal people do. And to, unless you know he's blind, just seeing him, you're not going to understand that he's actually blind. I just want to run, hide it away, run because the chase. When he hooked me up and I stood there, I was wondering what I'm getting myself into because it's been a long time since I was crazy enough to do something like this. And then when I let go and started across the river, it was a rush of enthusiasm and greatness and fun. And then when it ended, um, it was kind of bummer. But then I played on that course over there and then I got the zip line to here. And although this was shorter, it does seem faster even with my tunnel vision because I could see objects flying by, which crossing the river, you can't see those. What's your favorite thing to do with Skipper? I like to help him build and um, clean the pool. Yeah. Help build and make things and toy a lot. Skipper likes to play? Well, like play some things like pool, board games and all of that. I like to watch, I like to watch Skipper um, build things and clean out the pool and He'll usually help me play a board game. What about you, Gage? What fun stuff do you do with Skipper? Um. Fight. Fight? You like to wrestle with Skipper in the floor? <laughs> 